Hey, what's up guys? Bobby here with another Lightroom edit. So uh, the other day I went out with my friend to take some photos and uh, we got some pretty nice shots. So uh, I'll just show you really quick what we got. So here's the first photo. Um, here's another one. So everything was shot just with natural light. It was an overcast day. So uh, lighting was nice and soft and everything so yeah the results are pretty good in my opinion and there's a last one so um, yeah uh, I really didn't do a lot um, to these photos um, they're um, already pretty good photos I just need to change a couple things but um, by watching this I hope you can get something out of this so uh, Let's go to the original file. Uh, this is what it looked like. Um, it was a little bit overexposed, but um, yeah, let's just uh, look at the settings really quick. Uh, shot this on a 5D Mark III, one four hundredth of a second at f 1.8, ISO 100 on the 85 1.8. So uh, that's how I got the nice uh, bokeh. Um, but um, you know, these settings should be pretty similar to uh, I don't even know I'm sorry <laughs> but anyways um, the first thing I did was I kinda cropped it down a little bit um, just to make the composition a little bit nicer um, because it's a landscape usually you wanna shoot portrait for portraits but uh, in this case I shot landscape um, and uh, I kinda changed the uh, white balance so it look a little bit warmer um, because it's overexposed I knocked down the exposure maybe not as much and brought up the contrast okay and then just played around with the highlights and shadows just tweaked it to, uh, to my likings and uh, for clarity I brought it down because I want it kind of smooth um, and for vibrance brought it up so already this looks a lot better than the original just with some minor tweaks um, there isn't a strict rule to uh, edit portraits but uh, you know just gotta tweak these settings till, uh, till you're happy um, but you know just by watching me edit you might you know get something out of this but um, what, what I did was I kind of made the green a little bit more yellow because uh, I find the uh, warmer uh, feel a lot better um, and uh, kind of tweak the blues a little bit okay and then went over to the sharpening went to uh, somewhere with a lot of detail I just brought it up um, also, by uh, holding down the Option key, you can mask out the area you don't want to be affected by the sharpening because sharpening will add a lot of grain to the background. I don't want the background to be very smooth. So by holding the Option key, dragging the, dragging the mask, um, the place that are black will not be affected by the sharpening. And the white places, which are places that I want, actually want to be sharpened, will be sharpened. Okay. So uh, for noise reduction, I'll bring it up a little bit because I want the background to be very smooth with no grain. And uh, for color noise, um, this shot at uh, so 100 on the 5D, so there shouldn't be any noise whatsoever. Okay, and finally, let's just have some uh, remove chromatic aber chromatic aberration, even though there isn't, um, just to be on the safe side and uh, what I did was I added a little vignette brought of feather and uh, finally um, I went over to his face let's zoom in a little bit um, bring up the navigator just kinda got rid of all the spots on his face all the acne so 
Now this is Live Room 4. Uh, Live Room 5, it's a lot easier to do with the smart spawn removal, but uh, you know, when you get to tricky places like this, I usually go into Photoshop because um, let's see, let's just see how it handles. You know what? That that's fine. You know, usually um, for these tricky places, you won't want to do in Photoshop. You still have Live Room Four, but uh, again, Live Room Five. The uh, spot removal tool is a lot easier. So basically, that's the idea. Click done, zoom back out, and uh, you got a nice picture. So again, um, let's see what it did before. So yeah, again, pretty similar. So yeah, there it is. Um, a really quick edit. Um, there wasn't a lot to be done. Um, just kind of changed the composition a little bit, uh, changed the crop. I mean, um, changed the white balance, play around with exposure and contrast, uh, brought down the clarity because I wanted to have a softer look. Uh, brought up the vibrance um, to make it a little bit more pleasing. Changed around the colors a little bit to make it a little bit warmer. Um, you know, do your normal detail, sharpening, luminance, blah, blah, blah. Um, brought down a little bit of a uh, vignette and uh, smooth out the face. Usually I, I, I'd spend a lot more time than this uh, working on the face. Um, I, you know, clean everything up. As you can see, uh, the spot removal tool didn't do a very good job over here. Um, usually I do it in Lightroom. I mean, in Photoshop, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I spent a lot more time working on the uh, picture. Um, I will in the future show you a more detailed uh, video on uh, face retou retouching the face and you know re uh, cleaning up the blemishes and stuff like that. But uh, for this one, I just want to show you how to you know easily make a picture a little bit better. So again, this is the before and after. So again, not a lot to do. Um, for for uh, pictures like this one, I did the same thing basically, um, but it's kind of added a little bit of lens flare to make it a little bit more interesting. But other than that, everything else is the same. So yeah, I hope you got something out of this. Um, it's a really quick tutorial. Uh, be back with a, another one really soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.